and welcome everyone to our YouTube channel called My Project Ideas. And in this uh, particular video, we will look at a Java program that will basically convert from one temperature unit to another. For example, if I want to change from, let's say, uh, Fahrenheit to Kelvin, Kelvin to Celsius, and all of the different permutations and combinations of those. So here we will be using Swing as our GUI enabler. And as you can see, the first few lines are just importing all the different Swing libraries that we will need to create our GUI. Moving on to our main class here, our main class will extend the JFrame because we want to place all the different GUI components in the, on the JFrame since we are using the Swing framework of Java. Here, now let us look at the various components that we are going to use. So we will have two different text fields called temperature input and temperature output. We will, have, we will implement a button and, and we will also implement a button listener. So we'll create an object of this class and that will help us, allow us to convert from one temperature to another. We will also have a few labels called input label, convert label, output label, and image label. So the final label, the image label is basically a label that you can use to add an image to make your GUI or your interface more interesting. Finally, we'll, we'll also have a combo box, which is something new. So a, a combo box is nothing but a drop-down list. And if you want to select uh, one particular item from several, several uh, different options, you implement a combo box and then you ask the user to select one of the two. So here in this program, we will use the combo box in this way that we will have the various temperature units written down, for example, Celsius, Fahrenheit, and Kelvin inside our, inside a combo box. And we'll ask our user to select any one from the entire list. Moving on to the main, uh, main method here. Uh, so we see, so we have a pane here, a, a pane of contents where we'll place all the different components and we name our, our content pane as C. Uh, we, 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 set to, we set the layout to null and we set the background color of our component pane to white. This, this, uh, this content pane or this container will again con contain all of the different uh, elements of our GUI basically. And we'll set the set visibility to true. And we will also ensure that we have an exit condition here and we set the exit condition by setting exit on close to the set default close operation uh, function here. Now, moving on to the various combo boxes. So we have combo box one, where we have these three options where that our combo box will show to the user, Celsius, Fahrenheit, and Kelvin. Uh, we, we set the various criteria of the, of the combo box here. Um, next, next, we move on to our next combo box here that is again Celsius, Fahrenheit, and Kelvin. Um, and, and the various size of the combo box is the length, breadth, height. And we add the combo box again to, to the pane here. Now we move on to our first label. It's, it's called the temperature label. So we'll have two, two, two different uh, labels, labels, temperature labels. This is the various CSS, so like just formatting. Uh, we use an aerial font size and with uh, aerial font type, and then we use a font size of 14, set the, set, the, uh, set the length breadth here. We have another label called convert to. Um, this again, we use aerial and we use a font size of 14. Um, we again set the length and breadth of this. Move on, finally moving on to the, the text boxes or the text fields. We have a, we have a text field, we set the, length and breadth of text field here. And we set the location. So the location is where exactly in your, in your content pane basically, or in your window where you want to place the text box. We have another text box here, which is the temperature output text box. We have another label, which is the, which is the output label. So it is just the label beside the output temperature text box. Finally, we move on, move on to our button. This, this button is basically the, one and only button in this application, which is just convert. So whenever you click on this button, if you have one temperature unit here on, on your left and you want something to something as an output of another unit, you press your convert and it will just convert. So, and, and this button is, a, is, a new, uh, is one common button for the entire application. We have, the, we have the various styling of the button here. We set a color and here we, we, we set an action event to the button, a button basically. So we create an object of the button button listener class, and then we add this to our button. 
this is an this is an image label. You can you can leave it blank or you can add it if you want. This is just for uh, some some extra styling of your entire project. And finally, we will just add all the different components that we mentioned here. Now, moving on to the actual part where the temperature conversion happens. This is given in this function here. So, so you see, at right at the right at the beginning, we have two uh, two lines of codes where we basically take whatever the user selected from the combo box and we change it to string and we store it inside two different string variables. So one is temperature and one is temperature convert. For example, if you, if you enter something in Fahrenheit, so you store that here and you want that same temperature in Fahrenheit to be shown in Kelvin. So you store the Kelvin here. This is what you're essentially doing with these two lines of code. These are a series of if statements. So for example, if your input temperature was Celsius and you want to convert it to Fahrenheit, so you go through these entire whole if else blocks. So if you want to change from Celsius to Fahrenheit, you, you, you do this as your temperature conversion uh, uh, formula. If you, if you want to change from Celsius to Kelvin, you do this to temperature conversion formula. And if, you, and, and if the input is just from Celsius to Celsius, you just print out the value again. You do the same things for Fahrenheit and Kelvin. So for example, if you're Fahrenheit, you want to change to Celsius, you use this formula. If you want to change from Fahrenheit, uh, if you want, if you have Fahrenheit and you want to change to Kelvin, you have this entire formula given here. And if you have Fahrenheit and you want to just change to Fahrenheit once again, you do nothing and simply just print it out once again. The final uh, if block here, that is if you want, if your input is Kelvin and you want to change it to Fahrenheit, you undergo this formula here in this if statement. If you have, if your input is Kelvin and you want to just simply convert it to Kelvin once again, you do nothing, just print it out here. And if you have Kelvin and you want to change it to Celsius, then you just do this simple formula here. And this is our main method where we just call this function here, this main, this main function here, and then our program operates. Now let's see if we combine, we compile the results and see if we have a good output for this. So let me close this and let's see if I can run this program here. Click main, okay. Okay, nice. So we have something, okay. It, it takes a bit of time to load up. Yeah, so you can see this is our um, application of converting temperature from one unit to another. And this is our basic GUI or the interface. So for example, Let's let's convert 50 Celsius into Kelvin. So I put in 50 and from the combo box, I select Celsius and I want to convert it to Kelvin. Let's see what value do we get. I press convert and see we have 323 Kelvin as an output. For example, now if I want to convert 100 Fahrenheit to Celsius, I press convert here and we have 37.7778. Celsius. So if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our page and we look forward to meeting you in our next video. Thank you.